Okay, guys, I'm back, and it is games to upload here. First of all, let's get out of here before this whole place comes apart. About the low um, commentary on my first few videos, as I already apologized about. So it's during the midday at the moment, and we're going to be playing just a little bit more of this game. All aboard! Where are we heading to? Um. Oh, okay, yep. So we're back here again. Gotta head on to this train over here. E. This'll take us to the test site. What are we waiting for? Alrighty. So you guys have already seen this in the previous video, but Carter, this is Falk. We are en route. Take the diesel to the test site and signal us when you arrive. Big ass, um, like collapsion with the mountain. Hold on to something! Which I reckon that they should have died here, to be honest, but, you know. So, yeah, I do have a new headset. Um, I have the A50 Astro wireless headset. Uh, Pretty costive. I got mine for three hundred and fifty dollars, so I really hope that the microphone is working properly. Um, I've heard when I was this speaking, despite being pretty quiet in the previous uploads, is that my volume will go up and down, up and down. Strangely, it's pretty odd. Oh my god, I look like a big dildo back there. That was a cactus. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I really do hope because, you know, it's pretty expensive, you know. And I, and I want my microphone to be very clear for everyone to be able to understand me, unlike uh, other videos. So, this has pretty much been my first main video with the new headset, not including... You know the previous uploads of this game already. The bureau should be a radio up there. Declassified. And I just hope they haven't left yet. Okay, so let's go, gentlemen. Um, we'll go and collect some loot. We've got full ammunition on probably everything. Come on, Carter, radio in and let's get out of here. Okay, on my way. How come you couldn't have just radioed in? Oh, we've got a sniper rifle here. have many bullets. Oh, it's radioing. Falk, Agent Weaver, anyone? Copy, Agent Carter. Sky Ranger 1 reads you. I've got Falk and Weaver, and I am inbound to your location. Damn, look at that. That's pretty bad texture, though, there. when you Would zoom you in. rather head back to the base? Should be fine, as long as we don't start any tests. Right? Here they come! Brace, Take come at us! What is that? Down below. Yeah. Let us know where you want us, Carter! Um, okay. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while. Um... What's fire mission? I'm not exactly sure. But what we're gonna do... Is... You guys are going Finish to... Finish it off! Use that for that. You're going to throw some mines. Uh, it's down this way. Around about there Lay would down be a mine. great. Mine out. Oh wait, is that laying down a mine? Or is he throwing it? Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, they're all dead, man. That is so sick. All right, exit out of it. Whoa, I like annihilate the whole forces in. Oh, match up, bitch. He's almost dead. Where's Falk? Can you see him? What the? What is that? 
Come on, Fog! Come on! Carter! Mills! Heads up! Okay, what do we got here? Um They move pretty quick. Uh, well we've got nothing at the moment. Don't know how long we can hold up. I reckon we can hold up pretty for a decent amount of time here. Keep on firing! Moving! Ow. Enemies dug in! Uh, what do we got here? Sectoid. Oh, I'm so fail at the moment. Right, there we go. Okay, what do we got? An outsider. He's dead. Let's throw a grenade and get this transporter device down. Nice shot. I'm reloading. Score one for us. Oh yeah, dead head. What the achievement, guys? Carter, we're seeing enemy forces inbound to you. Well, these fuckers aren't gonna stop. Sky Ranger, how fast can you clear the test site's blast radius? Blast radius? Carter, what are you? I'm gonna start the test sequence. It's the only way to keep them from following us, and get some payback. Carter. He's right, sir. Sky Range is built for speed, but it's no match for those outsider ships. Mm. All right, do it. Good. Let's give those bastards something to remember. Okay, then. So we've got to trigger this nuclear bomb here, do we? Where's the test at? Let me stop. Are you really up. going to start the test sequence, Carter? Sure am. I mean, what else can we do? Oh my god, I didn't want to trade that. Give me back my. Give me. Give me back my damn rifle. This is insane. No, it isn't. What's insane is us fighting oh, aliens. <laughs> Listen. We're not safe, and we're sure as hell not done fighting. Do exactly what I say, and we'll get through this. Yes, sir. We're with you, Agent Carter. Ben, the Four LZ. Open fire! We got it coming! They come! Damn, man. There it is! The Sky Ranger! All right, bitches. <laughs> Sky Ranger to Carter. Agent Carter, respond. This is Carter. Right. Cutting but, it close, um, aren't you? We're coming in. Get on board. Where the hell is the Sky Ranger? Ah, there it is. Oh, this is looking like, like uh, XCOM. Not much further. Agent Carter, that bomb is gonna uh, go any second. Hopefully, everyone else lives. Get out of there. That wasn't much of an explosion. Invasion. Total time, 52 minutes. Ah, oh, that was only one mission. That's pretty long. You can read all this if you like. I'll go for the squad status. Acquired technology. Outside activities. So we've got outsiders, gun tyrants, sectoids, drones. Tells you how many you've killed in total for each. Uh, extraterrestrial. So 72 killed. And um, turn into base. In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1 requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. 
Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. Well, at least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Uh, don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That That's weaver right. is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. You have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. Read my file, motherfucker? How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Well, you Where were you this back. morning? Did you get caught and... In any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seats. William James Carter. You guys can just read through that, skipping that. Same before this if you like. Just have to pause the video. That's Nico to sleep now. Let's see what he's gonna say. 
Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself ceased to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. <clears throat> what? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. And you yelling for me to wake up doesn't help. I wasn't the one yelling. What did I say? Something about a fire. I don't know. I guess after the morning you had, it makes sense. No, this wasn't about that. It wasn't about groom range. Well, my guess is you're not the only one having nightmares after this morning. Head shrinking's gonna be a big business after this war. If there isn't after this war. Oh, Christ, that was dark. Anyway, Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. I better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Five. Damn thing's zero, doing it again. November. Carter, you hearing this? Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of Eight. the radio operators. Nine. You probably Two. ought to run that by Operator Chelsky Message across the repeats. hall. Might be important. Two. Five. Zero. November. Eight, nine, two.